All right, we're back now, 849, with Molly Shannon, the SNL alum, stars in the highly anticipated movie, Me and Earl and the Dying Girl, playing a single mom, facing the possibility of losing her only child, and she faces it with courage and the help of a couple of glasses of wine. Take a look. <laughs> You're kind, nice. I really appreciate it. Good, 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 good. Okay. You really are. Kind, big-hearted, delicious, yummy, yummy, young boy. <laughs> Molly, welcome back. How are you? Thank you, man. I'm great. I'm so happy to be here with you. It's nice to see you. I think when, when I set up the premise of the movie the way I just did about a mom facing the possibility of losing her child, everybody says tearjerker. But I want to read something from one of the beautiful reviews okay, of this great. movie, okay? Anyone who buys a ticket to a film called Me and Earl and the Dying Girl goes in fully expecting to cry. It's sort of a given. The surprise, then, is the laughter the near constant stream of wise, insightful jokes that make it so easy to cozy up to the characters dealing with this emotional situation. Wow. That's hard to get, well, to have is. it both ways. It really is. That's, I hadn't heard that review. That's amazing. And it is true, because I think you sometimes need a break when something's emotional. It's always good to have a break where you can laugh to, to break up the kind of intensity. And our director, Alfonso Gomez Rejon, did such a fine balance of, you know, doing that. And, and the movie's getting incredible critical acclaim. But I think what you just talked about and what that review addresses is why audiences are resonate or it's resonating with audiences so much that's great I'm so proud to be a part of it and and um, and it was so fun and, and my character is hard because her, her daughter's sick but yet she's um she's coping by drinking a little too much Sauvignon Blanc right. and, but she does what she can do you know to get through so many times luck plays a role in success and and yeah. and this your involvement with this movie came about because kind of a chance encounter. It did. This was so funny. I was I was at a yogurt store in my neighborhood with my kids, and the director, um, Alfonso, was with his sister get, also getting yogurt. At, um, and uh, he came up to me, and he was like, I'm such a big fan of yours. And, and he was so sweet. I just remember, oh, this guy seems so nice. And then he wrote me a letter and asked me if I would be in the movie. It was like several months later, so it was just such a Cravings funny thing. Cravings for frozen yogurt work. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're a great one for creating characters, not only dramatic roles like this one, but obviously very funny characters. And, and you tell a story about your SNL days, yeah. about Mary Catherine Gallagher, how she almost never happened. It's so true. What happened? Well, you know, it was funny. Um, they, when you when you're first putting a, sh a sketch on, they um, I, I don't know if they knew exactly what it was going to be physically because you you try the t the sketches out by reading them at the table, and I read it and um, they they were like, okay, yeah, and uh, and then when it was time to rehearse the show, that you rehearse all the sketches on Saturday before the show, and they put mine way at the bottom, which usually those are the sketches that don't make it. And I'm thinking, I don't think they understand what it's going to be, so I never even got a chance to rehearse before the live show they're like sorry it's dinner break you'll just have to rehearse it on your own and then I was like I gotta show them what this is so for the live show it was at the very it was the last sketch of the night before the before for the dress rehearsal it was the last sketch and then I really showed him what it was that she was gonna fall and it was physical and she would jump and she would jump into chairs and I I had to show them and then they they then it, um, between dress and air, you go up into Lauren's office to see what made it onto the show because many sketches get cut. And I remember it went from the bottom of the dress rehearsal to the top. And I was like, yes. When you go up into that office, is a little like the scene from The Wizard of Oz where they see the man behind the curtain. It is like that. When you like see that. Lauren like exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. It is like that. And, and, and had you never done that character, Natalie would have had nobody to dress up as... <laughs> this last Halloween, so we thank you for oh that. Oh my God, I, I love Natalie as Mary Catherine Gallagher. She really loved doing it. I just want to mention you also have something else, another great project, the yeah. Netflix series Wet Hot American Summer, based on a movie of yes. the same name. People going to love this? People are going to love it. It's a camp comedy. Um, it's a prequel to the original movie, and it's great. David Wayne and Michael Showalter wrote it. It's, uh, it's a lot of great episodes, and they reunited the whole cast. Paul Rudd, Janine Garofalo, Amy Poehler. It, just, it was fantastic. Bradley Cooper. Things going well for you right now. Thank they you, They really Matt. are. It's oh. terrific to see you. Thank you. I'm so happy to see you, too. Always good to have you back. Me and Earl and the Dying Girl opens in select theaters this coming Friday. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here.
to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.